Philly Live Fall for the Arts, presented by Visit Philly. Pack light, plan big for Philly at visitphilly.com. Good evening and welcome to our special program, Philly Live, Fall for the Arts. We are coming to you from the iconic Philadelphia Museum of Art. I'm Philly Live's Anya Lachelle, and you are in for an exciting half hour as we highlight the amazing events happening this fall that you definitely want to see. From the only U.S. premiere exhibition of Matisse in the 1930s coming here to the Museum of Art, to the best of Broadway and the most talked about shows and concerts hitting the stages of the Kimmel Cultural campus. We will show you how one shoe can change your life with the Philadelphia Ballet bringing the timeless story of Cinderella to audiences of all ages. We head back up these iconic art museum steps to give you a sneak peek at the highly anticipated Broadway musical version of Rocky opening soon at the Walnut Street Theater. That's just a sample of what we are offering you over the next 30 minutes. First, picture this, one of the greatest artists of the 20th century, only in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Museum of Art is the only venue in the United States featuring the upcoming Matisse in the 1930s experience. Tonight, we are giving you a sneak peek at what to expect from this groundbreaking exhibition coming soon. Take a step back in time for the world premiere of Matisse in the 1930s. The highly anticipated exhibition will be on view at the Philadelphia Museum of Art later next month. Matisse in the 1930s tells the story of a transformative decade in the career of one of the great artists of the 20th century. Visitors will be able to see how Matisse came through one of the lowest creative moments of his life. And then with the help of a great commission that he painted for the Barnes Foundation, then outside of Philadelphia, opened an exciting new chapter in his career. The mixed media exhibit will feature his paintings, photographs, prints, and bronzes. This is the first large scale exhibition to study this very important decade of the 1930s in Matisse's career. And the Philadelphia Museum of Art is the show's only U.S. venue. The exhibit will then travel to Paris and Nice, France. In 1948, PMA did what was then the biggest retrospective of Matisse's work. He was still alive then. He helped to uh, organize the exhibition. And what we're doing today really continues a very, very long legacy of interest in Philadelphia. And with the new exhibit comes new fall programming. The fan favorite Art Kids is back at the end of October, but with a twist. Kids can come in every Saturday and Sunday with their grown-ups to do drop-in art making here in the building. That is all related to Matisse and the exhibition itself. Um, there's also special family festivals on our first Sunday of the month, which are pay what you wish family moments that are, will be tailored around uh, art kids and the Matisse exhibition. Visitors can also dine at the museum's restaurant Stir, which will feature a Matisse inspired menu throughout the duration of the show. Why are you excited about this exhibit and why should visitors be excited about this exhibit? I'm excited about this, this exhibit because it contains great works of art and arranges them in a compelling story. And I think that our visitors will uh, see that as they walk through the gallery. An explorative work of art by an extraordinary artist who to this day has a long-standing legacy in Philadelphia and beyond. Wow, wasn't that amazing? How special that Philadelphia is hosting this experience. Matisse in the 1930s officially opens at the Philadelphia Museum of Art on October 20th. Tickets are on sale now at philamuseum.org. And now, proof that a new pair of shoes can really change your life. We are, of course, talking about the delightful fairy tale of Cinderella, brought to life by the incredibly talented Philadelphia Ballet. And you will soon be able to lose yourself in this enchanting story that blends humor, heart, and hope, where wishes come. Expect to see really beautiful choreography with a lot of romance and his life, and it's just such a romantic scene. Nayara Lopez will dance the role of Cinderella. It's definitely a dream come true for a ballerina because you are in love, right? And you have the whole story, and you have the shoe that he falls off, and you have the fun of it because the story is also very funny with the stepsisters. 
With fairy tale like music by Russian composer Sergei Prokofiev, artistic director Angel Correa hopes the show will feel like a dream. It makes everyone feel like they all can be part of it and they all can be part of that fairy tale. And there's so much diversity on the stage, not just in this show, but in the ballet company overall. Why was that so important? Well, it's important to showcase not only talent from all around the world, but uh, talent from uh, where the community that we live in and represent the community that we are. That has always been my dream, to be outside of my country and dancing, being a professional dancer, and being able to feel like I'm a princess or a Cinderella or a sugar plum fairy because, you know, it's a hard career. The only time I can feel like I'm really dreaming is on stage performing for that one small moment that live show makes me keep going and the boo two three two this season the ballet will also perform the nutcracker sleeping beauty and a series of world premieres it's a great season for for kids but for the whole family and to bring people back after the the pandemic and bring all those audiences and bring all the families uh, back into the theater and into dance. Um, so we're, we're very excited. And it's all a fairy tale dream come true. Audiences of all ages can experience the magic of Cinderella with performances by the Philadelphia Ballet October 13th through the 23rd at the Academy of Music on the Kimmel Cultural Campus. And speaking of the Kimmel Cultural Campus, there's so much going on this fall, and the best of Broadway is returning for the biggest season yet. Because you can, can, can. You don't have to head to New York to experience world-class entertainment. The Kimmel Cultural Campus is bringing Broadway to you with an incredible lineup for the upcoming season. Take a look at some of the highlights. You can bet your bottom dollar that the sun will come out October 11th through the 16th for the return of one of the best love musicals of all time. This new production of Annie is guaranteed to delight a new generation of theater goers. 19th century France will be celebrated in the 21st century this November with a reborn production of the Tony award-winning musical phenomenon Les Miserables. Fresh off of Broadway, a lot of really big hits that I think Philadelphia audiences are going to love, including the biographic musical Tina, the Tina Turner musical around Thanksgiving. We have Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill and the amazing Broadway smash of Six, which is a concert version of Henry, uh, Henry VIII's Six Wives, but done with a real twist. Spend the holiday season with the smash hit phenomenon that is Blue Man Group. They return to Philadelphia for a limited engagement on their new North American tour, December 27th to the 31st. It's a joyful experience that united audiences of all ages. March over to the Forest Theater January 24th through February 5th for a soldier's play, which critics have described as a knock your socks off drama that you don't want to end. And speaking of knocking off your socks. We're really committed to bringing a dance to the campus. So we have the amazing uh, Philodanko and then another uh, engagement with our the amazing Alvin Ailey uh, American Dance Theater, which is we've become their Philadelphia home and we're very excited to bring them back uh, in January. <laughs> Come From Away is the remarkable true post 9-11 story of 7,000 stranded airline passengers and the small town in Newfoundland that welcomed them. You don't want to miss this breathtaking musical February 7th through the 12th at the Academy of Music. Spring is filled with gems like the new mesmerizing production of the iconic musical phenomenon Jesus Christ Superstar. So Lydia, don't end yourself, defend yourself. Daddy is the one you should maim. And it's showtime when the ghost with the most Beetlejuice brings his antics to Philadelphia. The Moulin Rouge. Summer heats up with Moulin Rouge. Pop the champagne and enter a world of splendor and romance as the winner of 10 Tony Awards comes to Philadelphia. Best of all, you can create your own Broadway package to save on the shows you want to see. It's deeply accessible, affordable, a price for every pocket, and really celebrates what the campus gives to, to Philadelphia. We know you're already marking down all of these amazing events on your calendar, but there's so much more happening in Philadelphia and more to come this evening on Philly Live Fall for the Arts, including Rocky's new run into America's oldest continuously operating theater. Rocky the Musical starts its run at the Walnut Street Theater very soon, and coming up next, I am starting my run up the art museum steps with Rocky Balboa himself, Matthew Amira.
And there's so much to see, do, and experience in the Philadelphia area this fall. So why not plan an overnight getaway? We've got more details still ahead on Philly Live, Fall for the Arts. Philly Live, Fall for the Arts, is presented by Visit Philadelphia. Also brought to you by Philadelphia Museum of Art, Walnut Street Theater, Philadelphia Ballet, Philly Pops, Opera Philadelphia, and Kimmel Cultural Campus. You're watching Philly Live, Fall for the Arts, presented by Visit Philly. There's nothing more Philadelphia than this historic site, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And we know the museum for its world-class galleries and exhibitions, but a lot of people know it for a pretty famous movie, too. Our Sheila Wako is showing us how the unique Philly saga of Rocky is preparing to make its triumphant premiere at the historic Walnut Street Theater. There is no film more Philly than the 1976 classic Rocky. The story of the underdog boxer Rocky Balboa made actor Sylvester Stallone a household name. The movie won three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. And now the tale of Rocky, Adrian, and South Philly is coming to the Walnut Street Theater in Center City, Philadelphia. And what better spot to interview the star of this production than right here on the steps made famous around the world in the film, the steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I'm right here with Matthew Amira, star of Rocky the Musical. Matthew, to get started, I gotta hear your best, yo, Adrian. Everyone's asking me that. So I'm sure. I, yo, Adrian. Oh, that was pretty good, because you said some people are giving you a hard time. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, a guy told me, he was like, I did it for him, and he said, you sound like you're, you're Chelsea, Rocky, like you're from Chelsea. No, you sound pure Philly. Very <laughs> good job, very good job. People obviously love these movies and all of the sequels, and the musical is finally here in Philadelphia. What is it like for you to play Rocky and bring this Philadelphia story to the city that started it all? Um, I tell a lot of people this. It's the dream come true that I never knew that I had. I didn't know it was even a possibility two months ago. Um, it's magical, almost spiritual. Rocky is in every single, it's in the DNA of every like Philly resident and so like even if, you, even if you don't like Rocky, if you love Rocky, you're a Rocky fan, if you're not a theater goer, if you are a theater goer, I think everybody's going to love this musical. We're all used to the movie, what can we expect to see from this musical? Uh, you can expect to see a story about perseverance, about courage, about, it's like it says on the statue over there. It's not how hard you get hit, it's about how hard you get hit and you keep on coming and that's what makes a winner. Um, and coming out of COVID and uh, with theater being down for so long, I feel like everybody can resonate with that and uh, I think that Philadelphia will really rally around the show. And what's your favorite part about playing Rocky Balboa? Oh man, um, I love the physical aspect of it. I love a challenge. Um, it's also a love story above all else, you know? It's not about winning and losing because what he's doing it for is for Adrian at the end. So I love that aspect of it. Well, Matthew, you mentioned a challenge and right now I'm gonna challenge you to be like Rocky and run up these steps with me. Well, I'm not wearing my sweats right now. You, you I got get, a little got bit of an beat. edge on you. Okay, okay, there we go. All right, let's go, bud. Right, here we go. So excited, woo! Three, two, one. Are we double stepping? Oh, we're going for double stepping. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh you're way faster than me. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, cuddle. Oh. Thanks, Sheila. That's definitely a show you don't want to miss. And if you're looking to experience the performing arts in Philadelphia this weekend, you still have time to enjoy Opera Philadelphia's production of Otello. Rossini's rarely performed version of the Shakespeare tragedy comes to Philadelphia for the first time. <laughs> Sarò felice, 
That's star tenor Lawrence Brown Lee performing in Otello. It's set in the 1920s with elegant costumes and scenery that may remind you of the gilded world of Downton Abbey. And as in Shakespeare's play, the character Desdemona defies her father and marries his enemy Otello rather than the nobleman Rodrigo. It's quite a thrill for Brown Lee, who is also Opera Philadelphia's artistic director, to perform the role of Rodrigo in this Emilio Sahi production. Otello is a show that is rarely performed, and part of the reason it's hard to cast uh, it stars um, three tenors, uh, three Rossini tenors, which is a specific, uh, particular type of tenor that has a very high line and flexible voice. It's great because there are a lot of fireworks. Uh, it is a worthy piece uh, that has drama. Uh, people know the Shakespeare Otello, which I think is good. And so when you come and see it with the opera mixed with music, uh, the story mixed with music, I think people will really enjoy it. Don't miss the incredibly talented Lawrence Brown Lee and Opera Philadelphia performing Otello with performances tomorrow evening and Sunday afternoon at the Academy of Music on the Kimmel Cultural Campus. Well, Philly's favorite holiday tradition is back for another dazzling season. A Philly Pop's Christmas, spectacular sounds of the season, reunites music director and principal conductor David Charles Abel with Hamilton star Mandy Gonzalez, who returns for her fourth Christmas with the Pops. All the glitter and warmth of Philly's favorite holiday tradition is back. A Philly Pops Christmas spectacular sounds of the season makes a return to the Kimmel Center's Verizon Hall this December. Mandy, you are returning to the Pops Christmas stage for the fourth time this year. Just talk about this fun-filled holiday tradition that happens in Philadelphia. Just so excited. There's nothing like uh, the holidays, you know. David Charles Abel, our conductor, has put together such a wonderful program, a little something for everybody. We have the gospel choir coming. We have the Philadelphia Boys Choir. And it's just a time to celebrate together and celebrate the joy of the holidays and that we're, we're all here and we can be together with the ones we love. What are some of the songs that you're going to be performing in the show? <laughs> Well, I know, I think I will be uh, doing All I Want for Christmas is You, which is oh one of my absolute favorite. favorite. I know, it's like everybody's favorite song. I love uh, Mariah Carey. Do You Hear What I Hear? Another one of my favorites. But I, I love being able to collaborate um, with the Gospel Choir, uh, with the Philadelphia Festival Chorus, and with the Philadelphia Boys Choir. And we all get to sing together, which is so great. There's. I think over 300 people on the stage. So it's uh, it's a time to celebrate and it's big. Philly goes big, so it's nice. You know how it is. Go big or go home. <laughs> and you may also recognize Mandy as Angelica Schuyler in Hamilton on Broadway. She just finished up her six year run starring in the iconic role. I can't tell you how grateful I am to have had that experience. Hamilton will always be there. It will always be a part of my life, um, but I feel so blessed to have been a part of it for so long. And she says she's also grateful to have been a part of a Philly Pops Christmas for so long too. What do you hope our audiences take away from this magical show? Well, I'm just so happy that we can be together again and we can celebrate tradition. I think just sitting in an auditorium, listening to this beautiful music together as a community, I hope that they take away that feeling because there's nothing like it. There's nothing like live music and live theater and doing something with the people that you love. This is truly one of the best ways to get you and your family in the holiday spirit. Get your tickets now for a Philly Pops Christmas spectacular sounds of the season, December 3rd through the 17th at the Kimmel Center for the Performing Arts. Coming up next, we know all of these spectacular shows, concerts, and events have you thinking about packing your bags and planning your overnight getaway to Philadelphia. And straight ahead on Philly Live, Fall for the Arts, find out how you can get your chance to win a one-night stay in our amazing city, all thanks to our friends at Visit Philly. We'll be right back.
Philly Live Fall for the Arts is presented by Visit Philadelphia. Also brought to you by Philadelphia Museum of Art. Walnut Street Theater. Philadelphia Ballet. Philly Pops. Opera Philadelphia. And Kimmel Cultural Campus. You're watching Philly Live Fall for the Arts, presented by Visit Philly. Make sure you head to the Barnes Foundation this fall for a new exhibition. Mo Digliani up close explores the artist's working methods and materials and takes a look at his unique style. The exhibition is on view at the Roberts Gallery starting October 16th through the end of January. Welcome back from incredible art galleries and museums to the best of Broadway, the pops, the ballet, opera, even the story of our Rocky set to music. We know you'll agree there's so much going Going on in Philadelphia this fall. So how can you really get the most out of your Philadelphia experience? Why not book a Visit Philly overnight hotel package? Check this out. Pack light, but plan big. Visit Philly's overnight package makes a return for the fall season. You know, the package has been going for over 20 years, and in that time, we've learned that you can't really take a one-size-fits-all approach with travelers. So we've evolved the package to really uh, provide multiple options that a guest can pick from. There are two different options to choose from. Food and drink, which includes a $50 gift card to restaurants like Double Knot and Harp and Crown, and History, which comes with two tickets to the National Constitution Center and the Museum of the American Revolution. Not to mention free parking. Really, we're talking $180 that you're getting for free just by booking this offer. Why wouldn't you do it? There definitely is a lot to see and do in the city. It's not something you can do in one day, so you're absolutely going to want to make a night of it. The offer kicks off October 20th and runs through the end of January. It features 27 hotels across the city. Center City, University City, down by the Stadium District, and the hotels that participate really hit multiple different price points that really make it accessible to everyone. And once you check in, you can level up your stay at the Independence Visitor Center in Old City. Once you get here, you always start your stay at the Visitor Center. There is a wealth of knowledge and information here that's really going to make you have the best experience visiting Philadelphia. Visit Philly really is the experts on Philly, so I promise you they have exactly what you're looking for. We really always urge residents and travelers to get out there and explore and just have the best time they can in Philadelphia. Enter now to win one of these great Visit Philly overnight packages. Just head over to NBC10.com slash contests for your chance to win. Thanks so much for joining us this evening on Philly Live, Fall for the Arts. I'm so excited to share everything that Philadelphia has to offer. I'm Anya Lachelle. Enjoy your Philly adventure, and I'll see you on Philly Live. <laughs>